is going on everybody? My name's Jacob Forster and welcome back to A Little to the Left. Today, the Cupboards and Drawers DLC has just dropped, bringing in a whole lot more puzzles to solve. So I'm very, very excited for this. Let's go ahead, jump into the DLC, and start checking some of this out. Cupboards and Drawers, DLC 0%. So we have quite a lot, actually quite a lot of different and unique puzzles to explore, to check out. Why don't we check out the very first one here? Looks like we have a little clock. Ooh, okay. So within each of these puzzles are like hidden elements and, oh, oh, okay. So like hidden elements and things that you can do to kind of like mess around. So I'm excited to see how this, oh, 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 how this functions. Okay, so you both go into this slot. You're gonna go, I love the sound effects, they're so good. You're gonna go here? No, you're, you go here and then you go here. Oh, look at that, and it makes a perfect little triangle with the, the hands, and this one's making a little smiley face. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So then these guys, we want the hands to align to make a nice little square. And then you will fit perfectly here. Love it. <laughs> Sweet. Off to a good start with these uh, with these little guys. Oh no. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so we do have more drawers. So there's a lot more kind of like hidden spaces to <laughs> to play around with things. Look at the little eyeball go, look at him go. <laughs> this is perfect. Uh, okay, so I don't even know where to start. Let's just start putting stuff up here, maybe on top of the table so I can get room for the drawers. That's That seems to make the most sense to me, right? So if we open this, what's going to fit over here, I wonder? Either way, let's just start putting the things in here. I know, obviously, the, the sizing of these brushes is going to be important for us. So let's get you over there. Uh, little skizzers. Where, where are you going, buddy? I'm, I'm already so lost. <laughs> <laughs> like where I should be putting these things. Okay, okay, let's take some of this stuff out because this is super unorganized. <gasps> you know what, the eyeball is probably gonna go up here. Uh, and then we have our highlighters. Oh, we got our little pipe cleaners. Okay, so where, I wonder where those are gonna go. Everything on the desk. <laughs> now we can open up. So yeah, what's gonna go down here? And what goes, are you gonna fit up there? Mmm, maybe? <laughs> I'll just put you up there for right now. Pipe cleaners, pipe cleaners. Here the... Oh, 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 I see, I see, I figured it out, I figured it out. Paintbrushes do not go here, apparently. Scissors perfectly fit right there. And then the pipe cleaners perfectly align next to the scissors. I think, I think. That look, that looks good, right? I think that looks good. That looks very good. So what are we gonna go ahead and put into... <gasps> Maybe these guys? Is one of them ever so slightly a different shape? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> the noise is so good. It's so good. Okay, you guys go here. No, yes. Yes, no, yes, yes, okay. Rubber bands go up here, perfect. Um, which means I need to find a place for these guys. I think goes like this perfectly. And then next is this one. Next would be this one. Oh, you need to slide in here. You go over here. Uh, oh no. <laughs> okay, bring you over. We can align these pretty well now. All the patterns are going perfectly. Awesome. That seems good. That looks that looks really good. So what am I putting down here? No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Come back. 
<laughs> Come back, please. No. So, oh, okay. So this, the, the ink well fits in the top right. Got it. And these look like, like little chalk, chalk pieces. Oh, maybe that would go into here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we get smaller and smaller little pieces to fit in place. So then let's go ahead and work on the paint brushes. And then I guess these guys are going to fit into here somehow. I'm not sure the proper positioning, though. Oh no, this one this one's gonna ruin me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh wait, this doesn't this doesn't fit well. This doesn't fit well. Maybe No, because the eyeball <laughs> the little the little the little, little googly eye seems to do well right there. So how are we gonna fit these guys in? You know what? Half and half. I think. Something like that, maybe? That one seems to perfectly go in the middle right there. Uh, which makes me... Oh, I see. I see. I don't see. I don't see. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. This is throwing me off. Um, hmm. Okay, let's move you. Let's move you real quick. Maybe they just need to form like a interesting little circle pattern. Somehow? Some way? Okay, that's a good fit there. That's not a good fit there. Uh. Yes. 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 Okay. It's working. It's working. You go here, and then you go here. Perfect! Oh, I love that! I love that so much! <laughs> it's so good! Ah, oh, such fun puzzles. Okay, now we've got a bunch of pens. I like a good, a good fancy pen. They're always cool to, cool to write with. Huh. Oh, I see. So there's some differences here with the pen tip. There's differences with the little grip right in the middle. And then I think there's a difference between the like gold versus silver versus the the black here. And maybe with how much ink is saturated onto it. And then of course, getting the pen tops properly situated. So like this one would go onto you because it has the same silver. This one would go onto you because it has the same gold. And all the other ones should be pretty straightforward, but it's a matter of figuring out the actual order of these. So let's just go by the the number of little golden rings around the, the thing here. So that's three. And then we get four. Next up is five, six, and I'm assuming that's seven. So we got the snake top. We have the silver. Ooh, that, that's a cool one. It's got a little golden arrow. These are such cool little pens, little pen designs. Uh, silver on silver, gold on the gold. And then the last one is here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that has four stars? <laughs> oh, hello. That has a lot of flowers. Oh, this is cool. So this is like a, like a cool little scrapbook or something. This one will be fun to kind of rearrange. I just gotta, to look around and figure out what goes where. Yeah, so you perfectly go there. Oh, this is this is pure chaos with the smaller ones. Okay, let's start with the big ones first because they're pretty easy to spot and to see. Uh, you can go. Where do you go? I don't see a spot for this one. Excuse me a little, oh, 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 it's two pieces. 
Oh, tricky, tricky. Okay, you go here. So where would... Where would you go? Okay, let's start with the next big things. You. Uh, next up, a perfect little circle. No. No. Oh, right here. Got it. You can go here. Long windy. Here. And then we, we gotta get all these little guys. All these little guys need to start fitting into place. You can go here. Ah, uh, you go here. Yes, and we're missing a pedal. A tiny, tiny little pedal for you, which is right here. Give me that. You? We can start it here, and then we've got to find the next little piece of the pedal. Up top. I like this one with the, the big windies. It's fun. It's a fun little flower. You go here. This guy up here. The starburst. Boom. <laughs> okay, we're still missing some petal pieces that are just kind of laying around. Maybe it'd be best if I moved some of these off of the space here so that I can actually see what's remaining. So let's get these off to the corners. Or the edges, rather. And up next, what should we, what should we look at next? I guess we can look at this flower. It goes here. That's the top of this, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. You go here. Uh, next up, this one is missing some pieces from here and here. This little guy, top left. Some reminds me of a little butterfly. Put you right here. This one. This is a nice little flower. This guy goes here, little sunflower type deal, but not actually a sunflower. <laughs> uh, almost lost it. Okay. We're getting, we're getting it. We're getting it. It's all these last little guys falling in to place. You go here and then, oh, that's all of it. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. Cool. Oh, oh, the plumbing. Oh, there's so much stuff. Oh boy. Okay, where <laughs> where do I even begin with this? Um We got some TP. So how do I want to organize this? How do I want to organize this? So you can see some of oh my gosh. You can oh no. <laughs> you can see some of the toilet paper is like the alignment of the roll is a little bit different between these. I'm, oh no, oh no, <laughs> this is, this is already a nightmare. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, 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 let's just, let's just throw everything around, figure out the first little things that fit into place. So you seem to actually go decently well right here, maybe? Because it kind of goes, no, no, okay. <laughs> I'm making more of a mess than anything else. Okay, we'll stick you here. We'll stick you right here. No, that one goes there. Okay, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. It's me. I'm the one. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, where's the swoop on the right side? I think it's you. Mm, no, no, it's the broom. Broom and dustpan. They go right next to each other. Yeah? That seems to make sense to me, right? I think. <gasps> Trash could go here. That's a good spot. That is a very good spot. Okay. We have cotton balls, but where am I gonna put cotton balls? Oh, the toilet paper goes down here, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Things are making a lot more sense. It's making a lot more sense. So, why do I have a candle down here? Like, like a decorative candle. It's a bit bizarre. Oh, okay, glove can hang up there. So then, oh gosh, what am I gonna fit up here? 
let's just get the teepee down real quick. I can reorganize it at a later point. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, what am I supposed to do with some of these other things? You seem like you'd be a good fit, just... Oh, it's toppling over. You'd be a decent fit over there? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, maybe the bucket. What about you? Where do you... <laughs> I'm lost. I'm so lost on where I should put some of these things. Plunger. Plunger. That's a good spot for the plunger. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, they stack together. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're doing it. We're making it make sense. <laughs> so maybe it is the cotton balls that go here. But then what goes here? No, this goes here. Oh, okay, okay. I'm understanding. I'm beginning to believe that everything is going to work out perfectly. So maybe you would go here. Yes. That's the right spot for the plunger. So then it's just a matter of getting these all to fit perfectly. <gasps> Look at that. That is the best spot for the cotton balls. So then I need to figure out where to put the candle, but I also am assuming that I need to mess with the toilet paper, right? So if I put you there first, there's like a little bit of a pattern too with the with the lines on the toilet paper. Is this is this uh, <laughs> is this something I I'm needing to to properly place as well? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, nothing left, middle, ish left, middle right, flopping over to the right. So where's the candle? Oh, candle goes right here. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I'm so glad that they have all these new puzzles in here. Hello, kitty. What are you up to? <laughs> can I can I rub your belly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That's the best puzzle I've seen so far. Okay, it's lunchtime. We're at the cafeteria. So we want to stack up our our food in a good spot, I guess. Maybe this one goes around the center. I need to figure out what I need to put in the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So we want to... Do I want to stack these on top of each other? I'm a... How does this work? How does this work? I don't know what's happening. Um... Okay, apple pieces, obvious. Right in the center. We have our little Doritos. Where do you go? Maybe you go in here? Maybe you go over here. No, no, that doesn't fit. 100% does not fit. Sandwich. Sandwich goes in here, I, I think. <laughs> yes, you go there, you go there, you go there. Perfect, perfect. And then you go here. What an interesting little tray. I'm trying to figure out like what, what kind of tray this is. <laughs> Cause I've never seen anything like this before. You'll fit there. Sandwich goes up here, oh, okay. And we got our green beans, our little snap peas, I think. Maybe you guys will fit in here. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Let's see, so now I just need to figure out the chips and the broccoli. I'm assuming the broccoli needs to fit in in a very strange and peculiar way. Yes, yes, okay. And our celery. That looks good. Unless they want to be flippy floppied. Like so. No, I like I like the other way better. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Cool. So now we got our chippies. Got it. Got it. 
We're making the perfect little space. Yeah, cool. So cool. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, I really, before I get into this next one, I want to go back and look at the other solutions. Wait, okay, I haven't done that one. We got one star there. One star, one star, one star, four stars. Okay, yeah, so this one has a ton of different solutions. I wanna mess with this one, because I wanna try to see what we need to get some of these other ones on this guy before I like go really too fast into into the other solutions and the other puzzles here. So let's go to three, let's go to four. This one's five, six, and seven. So I'm guessing that another possible solution for this is aligning the tips. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds about right. So, got this tip here. And there's also a general sizing difference with some of these. So let's do silver next. Silver and silver. Oh, I'm just now realizing. See right here, the little grooves? Some of these have them, some of them don't? Oh, excuse you. <laughs> so maybe that's a thing too? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, silver top. Silver top. Gold top. Gold top. Gold top. Uh oh. Uh, wait. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Wait a second. Did I? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Was that one just never the right tip before? Something looks really off. Why is this one off? Huh? I'm losing my mind all of a sudden. So what, what? Mm hmm. Okay, let me just put, let me just put these on top. And I'm not gonna focus on the nib itself. Oops. I'm gonna focus on the other pieces here. So what if we do all wood grain first from the lightest wood grain to the darkest? And then, And then, and then what would I do? <laughs> I'm so confused. What do I do? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I see. I see a potential solution here. All the way to the left. Somewhat to the left. Almost to the middle. A bit... No, no, all the way in the middle, a bit to the right, almost to the right, and all the way to the right with the pen caps. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. Okay, let's do that again. Figure this out. So let's keep moving. So now I'm wondering if maybe I should do the nib size. Those of you who are curious, the nib is the, the tip of the pen. Uh, no, no, I'm not making up words here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Ooh, so what would be the smallest one? Is it this guy or is it this guy? That might work. That might work for the size of the pen tip. Let's try this, let's try this, let's see how it works. Silver, gold, that and here. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Darn. All right. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm just, my brain is not wanting to figure out what else this could possibly be. Okay. Caps 
We're coming off. So looking at the next possible solution. I know I did mention like how much of these have like ink on them. <clears throat> Which makes me believe that this one here is actually supposed to be a gold nib and it's completely covered in ink. Yes. Which makes me then think that this would be the next one up. And then we go to this guy, then to the gold. From gold, we have silver. I don't, I don't know if this would make sense, <laughs> but we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. No. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Um What do I do here? Okay. So, here's my next possible solution, which I'm not sure I even understand. <laughs> But we're going for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I immediately see the next solution. I immediately see it. Do you all see it? Because I definitely see it. We're going for pointiness of the pen's body. This is the most... This is the most pointy. Next up, I believe, is going to be this one. Then we have you here. This is gonna be the very end. Hold on. You're gonna be at the end. You're gonna be close to the end. And it might be this one. Let's go, let's go! <laughs> okay, only one more solution left. One more solution. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, brain, don't fail me now. Do not fail me now. What we have gotten so far, we've had the rings around the center in numerical order. Next, we had, what did we have after that? Um, the pen caps, the position that they are, the part that like holds onto like a pocket or paper, whatever you're hooking it to, the positions of those from left to the right. Next up, we had the thickness of the actual pen's body from most narrow to most blocky. So then our final solution, how do we gather? <gasps> it's gonna be cap size, isn't it? It's gonna be the cap size. Cause they're all different sizes. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Yes, I believe so. Yep, 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 okay. So pink one is first, it's got the tiny cap. <laughs> Next up is going to be this one here with the gold tip. Cool, cool. Okay, I, th I, th I think this is, I think this is correct. This should be the solution. Next up is you. Then the all black pen. Straighten these out so I can actually see it. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Okay, this is perfect. You go here with this, no, <laughs> with that on top. You go here. And then finally, here. Let's go! All four solutions complete. Absolutely incredible. Awesome, 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 awesome. Sweet, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've done seven of these puzzles so far. Still have a ton more to go. It's another kitty one, apparently. Um, and obviously, a lot of these are gonna have multiple solutions on top of everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just leave this video here, save some of these puzzles for our next time around. Wait, how do I get back to the main menu? Hold on. 
There we go, there we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe I have to resume. And then I can go back to the main menu. Let's see. What does it do for me? There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and exit. Sweet. So yeah, little to the left, cupboards and drawers DLC. Uh, thank you again for the developer for sitting over a code so that I can record this early for you all. Um, again, very wonderful to be able to get back into content for this game. Absolutely love it, and uh, just just super happy to to be back into this this wonderful wonderful little world. And I uh, can't wait to continue playing some more of this for you all and getting into more of these sweet sweet puzzles. So. Thank you all so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. I've got a Discord channel and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.